Hi there everyone, it's Jakko here. I wanted to make a quick video about how to strip texture paths in 3ds Max in some of these later versions. You can see that the interface has changed quite a bit, the large button is no longer here and someone like me who has missed a couple of versions, it took a little bit the searching to find that. So, so if you have some asset that you're going to be sending to other people or maybe sending to your company, uh, it's a good idea to strip these absolute paths because otherwise Max is going to look for those exact paths and it may not find those textures. So it's a really good idea to, to keep everything relative. So a um, really quick way to do that is to press Shift T and by doing that you're going to get this dialog. But if you want to use these file menus you can also go to File and go to these. Uh, you can see we have this reference in here. You can see this asset tracking window here. So basically you have your max file and then your other assets in the same folder. So I'm just going to go here and go to pass and then we have this strip path in here and now it's gone. It's just uh, disappeared and now everything is relative. So this is just a quick tip on how to strip absolute texture paths from your max file. 